Today I'm just uh, going to do a quick little review of this, which is the uh, Sergi Adventures Sonic Lipstick and uh, her little communicator watch thing that comes with it. Of course, these both uh, come in a pack together. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't keep the packaging. I threw that out ages ago, or I don't know where it went. I probably set it on fire. I set everything on fire. Um, like It was kind of this weird oval-shaped box that was made out of plastic, and uh, it kind of had this uh, little purple... Um, insert on the inside of it with a picture of Sarah Jane holding her sonic lipstick. A picture of it hopefully is on the screen now. Well, it should be on the screen now anyway, so you can get a good look at it uh, for yourselves. So anyway, like I said, I threw the box out because I'm not really a big Sarah Jane Adventures collector. You know, the only reason I bought this is because it's, you know, it's something sonic and I collect absolutely anything and everything that is sonic. You know, sonic pens, sonic screwdrivers, sonic lipsticks, you know. And uh, so, obviously, because people have been saying that I haven't actually reviewed everything Sonic, so I haven't done the Sonic pen, and I haven't done the Sonic lipstick, that uh, I should review them. So, here we go with uh, part one, the Sonic lipstick. So, of course, let's start off and talk about it. Okay, and here it is. As you can see, it's uh, modeled on uh, what seems to be a very retro uh, lipstick, maybe from the 80s or 90s, I don't know. But uh, as you can see, taking a look at it here, it's big, it's gold, it's uh, quite clunky in comparison to regular lipstick, because of course it's not an actual lipstick, it's uh, got a little sonic device inside it. But uh, looking at the overall casing, because it is meant to be this disguise, it is, uh, it is really well, very finely detailed too. As you can see, those little kind of ridges there. On the edges all look absolutely superb and really fantastic little button there to activate the sonic as well and uh, around the back here you've got the little battery hatch uh, i think this takes button cell batteries but they do come in the pack as well so uh nothing really to worry about and uh of course when you pop this little cap off here and set it down this reveals the tip of the lipstick but as you can see it has a little uh, red emitter tip here at the front and uh, this is a feature that I really love about this sonic lipstick because it actually opens up like proper lipstick so just kind of get to a right angle to show you here when you twist it the actual emitter rises up and I think that's a really cool little feature and yeah it kind of baffles me how they're able to do that because as you can see, like when you twist it, the little lipstick twists out. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. And something that's uh, crossed over from the show really well. So uh, that's something that I like to see in toys. That uh, they actually do the features that uh, you actually see in the show. And it's very rare you get that. So it's a nice little feature. And I really like that. Which is my catchphrase lately. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, the emitter tip is detailed really well. Um, it kind of looks like this red ruby that's kind of held in place by this kind of metal device here. You can see it's sort of been clamped into place, which looks really well. And uh, this kind of sort of like these rings that run around the uh, edge of the base here. If you can kind of see that there. I don't know, like the closer up you get to my camera, the more blurry and distorted it becomes. So if you kind of see it there, it's detailed incredibly finely as well. And uh, the kind of little inside of the of the lipstick here is also detailed to match the exterior again which is a nice touch they didn't have to do that they could have just left it smooth but i'm really glad that they've uh, included that little design on the inside there uh around the bottom here we've got the speakers um actually concealed really well i was quite surprised at that but the only thing that lets it down i don't really know if you can see it but there is actual writing across the top here let me just see if i can read this for you here uh, the Sarah Jane Adventures trademark 2006 uh, character options limited made in China. So that kind of takes away the uh, authenticness of the little uh, sonic lipstick and is quite unfortunate. Uh, in order to activate the sonic lipstick, of course, you press the little button here. Now, it comes with two noises. Uh, the first noise is uh, just a standard uh, screwdriver noise. So if I click it in, just let you see. So, I don't know if you really can hear that, but uh, you kind of get this dull noise. It only lasts for about a second, and it's looped, so it's kind of like that whirring noise. And, uh, of course, the tip lights up as well. Um, quite a bright light, actually, off the tip. I don't know if I can show you it in the dark here. Let me just see. See if I can show you it here. Um, so, just pointing it. You get that really bright light, and, um, you know, it's, it's really nice. And it, it kind of does flicker a little bit uh, between being dull and being bright. So, uh, very nice feature there. A second little noise uh, is when you just click the uh, the button and leave it. So uh, as you can hear, kind of a blaster noise. Uh, again, quite nice. Uh, the trouble is, whenever you click it, the light does turn on for the first noise, but it doesn't click on for the second noise. So if I just leave it here, you see what I mean? But if you do click it and then click the button again for the second noise, it uh, does light up. So as you can see. You get that, uh, you get that uh, little quality to it there, and um, you know I, d I don't really know if I like that or not because it, it you know it just kind of turns on and then 
the second noise is heard and you know the little tip doesn't light up so that's um that's something that kind of bothers me slightly but you know not too much it's not something i would really you know bad my about and also included in the uh, pack alongside the sonic lipstick is this which is sergian's little communicator watch thing and it, it, you know, it's a really nice feature that they've uh, included this along with the sonic lipstick because of course the sonic lipstick is a small little thing so the fact that they've included something along with it is it's just a bonus really so take a look at it here you would expect it to be, it's kind of like an accessory of an accessory really, so you kind of wouldn't expect it to be that well detailed, but it really is, like just taking a look at it here, like the little uh, buckles detailed incredibly well, as is the little uh, little hoop there. Uh, the actual the actual strap as well is uh, imitation leather, as you can see, it's all crinkled as well, and there's, um, it, you know, there's such detail to it, and it really does look absolutely fantastic for being what is essentially a piece of plastic, and you've got your little holes running through it there as well. Uh, the actual face of the watch, though, there's one thing I don't really like about it, the fact that the face of the watch is kind of printed on and, you know, the hands don't move. And that's something about, like, you know, toys, like watch toys in general, that I really don't like, that the hands don't move. It would have been nice if they did, but uh, obviously they don't, and that's kind of annoying. The, the face itself here is uh, purple, and uh, on the inside there, just below the hands, you can see the little SJA logo, which, again, is a nice little touch. On the side here, you've got these three little... Uh, knobs and buttons which don't really do anything and uh one thing that's really cool about it is you can actually lift the face up so uh let me see where the little hinge is here you can actually lift the face up and underneath you've got sarah jane's little communicator which really does look absolutely fantastic and again is spectacularly detailed so you've got uh, some little panels there some little gauges little speaker box there as well and uh, some little alien information there and some uh, like sort of stuff from what I can assume is Mr. Smith on the top there, some readouts and displays. So again, very very cool little feature and um, something I'm really glad they have included with the uh, Sonic lipstick. Okay, so things I don't like about this lipstick, well, um, kind of really that just that writing at the bottom there was kind of annoying too. Um, and also whenever you switch it on, obviously, there's that second delay. But, you know, apart from that, I don't really care. Also, whenever this is clicked on, because I bought this and gave it to my girlfriend, Lindsay, to carry about, because she always annoyed me because I carried my sonic screwdriver around with me all the time. So I gave her this just to shut her up and have her carry it around with. When she has it in her bag, uh, this kind of top part falls off quite a lot, which is annoying. And secondly of all, the button's on the outside, and there's nothing really to stop it from being pressed. So whenever it's kind of like in your handbag, if you're a girl carrying this around like this can go off quite a lot or even just like you'd be i don't know where you would be like if you had it in your handbag but like you're sitting down with your mates having a laugh and then all of a sudden you hear i can't have to explain the way the fact that you're a sarah jane adventures fan so uh yeah that's kind of annoying too and uh also you know these are girls toys let's face it um you know it's from the sarah jane adventures but these are girls toys i mean like i don't really know any boys who would carry around a sonic lipstick except uh for the ones who are a bit you know boy george but uh <laughs> anyway you can kind of see reflected by the uh, watch as well too this is a girl's watch with the kind of little pink face there too so it's certainly a girl's toy at any rate and um, there's nothing no real fault i can find with the watch uh, like i say i wasn't expecting it to be that well detailed but it is an absolutely fantastic recreation of the actual watch from the show it doesn't do anything unfortunately it uh, doesn't tell the time and it doesn't light up or make any noise but you know something that's okay i didn't really buy it for the watch i bought it for the screw the actual uh, sonic lipstick Okay, thanks very much for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's countless more reviews online. I've reviewed tons of other Doctor Who stuff. I've also reviewed Toy Story and Robot Wars and Back to the Future toys. So if you like any of those, please feel free to check them out. Uh, you can also subscribe to me. You can add me as a friend. You can also add me as a friend on Facebook. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.